What's up, beautiful people of the internet? It's Josh Hewitt, and it's time to do it with Hewitt. It's also time to spread the love. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, I want to help you give that special someone in your life the gift of good loving. Yes, exercise can, in fact, improve your sexual performance, not only by improving your libido, but also increasing blood flow to those vital working parts and improving your strength and endurance and flexibility in the bedroom and also improves your hormonal profile. Yes, resistance training can in fact can increase testosterone in men. With that being said, I want to show you five specific exercises you can do to improve your sexual fitness. Let's get at it. The first exercise is the kneeling row. This can be performed on either one knee or two, and it's great for adding a little bit of extra pull to your pushing power. This is perfect for sexual positions such as doggy style, and if you don't have access to a gym, this can also be performed at home using a simple accessory such as a resistance band. Incorporate this exercise into your training plan, and your partner is going to thank you for it. Next up is the dive bomber push-up. If you like being on top, this exercise is a must for the thrust. Not only will this exercise challenge your chest, shoulders and triceps, but it also involves your core and improves your hip mobility. Try to keep a nice arc to this movement and use a full range of motion on every repetition. Hey ladies, here's one for you. Oh yes, pulsed squats. Perform a full range of motion squat and then at the bottom, perform a pulsed half rep before you return back to the top position. Guaranteed, you're gonna enjoy a nice pump and burn with this one. And number four is one of my favorites, the hip thruster. This one ties in really well with number three, the pulsed squats, because guys, you gotta make sure you can hold up your end of the bargain while you're on the bottom. Hip thrusters will help you develop powerful glutes that will help give you that driving hip extension when it counts most. If you don't have access to a bench and a bar, no problem. You can also do this exercise with just a stability ball and a dumbbell. And finally, exercise number five is something I call straddle the elbow. This is a great little high intensity cardiovascular type exercise which will help you build up your stamina so you're not going to gas out mid-coitus. Now check the link in the description below or just click on the image here on the screen for a full body workout on my blog that includes these exercises. And remember, for Valentine's Day, all you need is love. But of course, a little nookie never hurts. Have a great Valentine's Day and until next time, stay hard.